Welcome dear students, in this video we will discuss the attachments and actions of muscles of the back. First of all, we have to uh, be oriented uh, by uh, the muscles that we will talk about. I have two layers for the muscles of the back. The superficial layer is formed of two muscles. The first one, uh, this muscle which is called trapezius, and the second one, this muscle which is called latissimus dorsi. The deep layer is deep to trapezius, so I have to hide the trapezius muscle to see the deep layer, which is formed of three muscles, levator scapulae, abort, rhomboides minor in the middle, and lastly, this is rhomboides major. So we have now to refresh our view to talk about each muscle regarding its origin, insertion, and action. This is called the trapezius muscle. As you see, it has wide origin from back of the skull, cervical region, and thoracic region. The details of origin is as following. It has three origins, as I told now, or as I said now, from the back of the skull, occipital origin. So, it takes origin from the external occipital protuberance and subunucal line, you can say it's only occipital origin from the occipital bone of the skull. The second origin is from nuchal ligament. This nuchal ligament is the ligament attaching the seven cervical vertebrae with each other. And lastly, I have the thoracic origin, which is the spines of all thoracic vertebrae, as you see. So it has three main origins. Occipital origin from the occipital bone of the skull, nuchal ligament, uh, uh, which is the cervical origin, and thoracic uh, vertebrae, all the spines of all thoracic vertebrae, which is the thoracic spine or the thoracic origin. The muscle will be converged to be inserted into this V shaped area, confirmed or formed by back of the clavicle, medial aspect of the acromion of the scapula and the upper border of the crest of the spine of the scapula. So you can say the origin, the insertion of trapezius is this V-shaped area, back of the clavicle laterally, and medial aspect of acromion process of the scapula, and the upper border of the crest of the spine. So origin and insertion show me that the trapezius having three direction of fibers. The upper fibers are descending downwards like this, the lower fibers are ascending upwards like this, and the middle fibers are horizontal, so sure this will affect the action of the muscle. I have three main actions of this muscle. Regarding to the upper fibers of trapezius, it will pull the scapula like this, so it will form Elevation of the shoulder girdle. Elevation of the shoulder girdle. It means elevation of the scapula. And this is very clear in this animation. Only upper fibers will act. So they will elevate the scapula. Okay. Regarding to the lower fibers of the trapezius. If you look to the direction of fiber, this is lower fibers of trapezius, so if they contract, they will pull the scapula downward. So, the second action of trapezius is formed by lower fibers of trapezius, and the action is scapular depression, and this is very clear in this animation. This is a scapular depression by lower fibers of trapezius. If you want to see it again in another view, this is a scapular depression by lower fibers of trapezius. Okay. What about the whole muscle or the middle fibers of the muscle, which are horizontal fibers? The action will be retraction of the scapula. The action will be retraction of the scapula. And this is very clear in this video. The middle fibers only will act, or if the whole muscle acted together, the result will be retraction of the scapula, and this means posterior 
movement of the scapula. Now let's refresh this view to see the other muscle, which is the latissimus dorsi muscle, as you see. Latissimus dorsi also have very wide origin, thoracic, lumbar, and pelvic origin, and so on. If wanted to see the details of origin and insertion of latissimus dorsi, let's see. This is latissimus dorsi muscle. Taking origin from the spines of lower six thoracic vertebrae, under covered by trapezius. The upper part of the latissimus dorsi is covered by lower part of trapezius. And the other origin is the thoracolumbar fascia, which is attaching the lumbar vertebrae with each other. The third origin is the back of the iliac crest of the hip bone. And the muscle is going upward toward the humerus. While it's ascending upwards, it can take some slips of origin from lower ribs and from back of the lower angle of the scapula. In order to be inserted into the floor of the bicipital groove of the humerus, as you see, anteriorly. So the muscle is coming from back and going to be inserted in the anterior aspect of the humerus in the floor of the bicipital groove or the medial aspect of the bicipital groove and we can see here the twist that we saw before in pectoralis major the lower fibers of latissimus dorsi will be inserted upwards while the upper fibers of latissimus dorsi will be inserted downwards in the bicipital groove this twist forms with teres major muscle the posterior fold of the axle. So, if I want to apply the rules of action, I will say that the latissimus dorsi is inserted into the humerus, so it will move the humerus on the shoulder joint. It will move the humerus on the shoulder joint. Because it's coming from posterior aspect, so it will extend the humerus at the shoulder joint. It will move the humerus posteriorly. So, it will make extension in the shoulder joint. And because it's inserted into the front of the humerus, it will make medial rotation. And because it's coming from medial to lateral, it will make adduction of the humerus. So, let's see first of all the extension of the shoulder joint. Look with me in this animation. The muscle is coming from posterior aspect, so it will pull the humerus posteriorly, forming extension of the shoulder joint. Let's see it again. You see? This is extension of the shoulder joint. And because it's coming from medial to lateral, so it will make adduction, adduction of the shoulder joint. You can see here, adduction of the shoulder joint. And this movement is helped by pectoralis major. So both pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi form adduction of the shoulder joint because they are coming from medial to lateral. And the last action is the, the medial rotation, which is formed also by pectoralis major. Why both pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi form medial rotation of the humerus at the shoulder joint? Because both muscles are inserted into the anterior aspect of the humerus okay very nice now we will return again to our view to hide latissimus dorsi and to hide trapezius also so i have the three deep muscles namely levator scabili boidus minor and roboidus major. Let's start with levator scapula. As you see, it's coming from the upper four cervical vertebrae. In details, this is the origin and the insertion of levator scapulae, like this. Transversal processes of upper four cervical vertebrae going to be inserted into the back of the medial border of the scapula above the level of the spine. Above the level of the spine. So, the action of this muscle sure sure it will be scapular elevation it is the same like 
upper fibers of trapezius and the action is very clear here you see this is levator scapulae and this is upper fibers of trapezius the action is elevation elevation of the scapula so it acts also on the shoulder girdle very nice what about the other two muscles rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major if you see rhomboidus minor it's a very small muscle taking origin from the spine of last cervical vertebrae and the first thoracic vertebrae c7 and t1 and going to be inserted into the back of the medial border of the scapula at the level of the spine at the level of the spine of the scapula what about the other muscle which is boidus major it will take origin from the following four thoracic vertebrae namely second third fourth and fifth thoracic vertebral spines and will be inserted into the medial border of the scapula below the level of the spine below the level of the spine regarding to the action of both rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major it will be the same as middle fibers of trapezius which is retraction of the scapula retraction of the scapula we can see it in this view retraction middle fibers of trapezius with rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major will form retraction or posterior movement of the scapula okay what about levator scapulae with rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major the three muscles if they act together so i have levator scapulae elevator for the scapula rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major are retractor of the scapula let's discuss if the three muscles act together like this video you see levator scapulae rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major will pull the medial border of the scapula like this upward like this so this will form a downwards rotation of the scapula and downward tilting of the glenoid cavity so the action of the three muscles levator rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major with each other they will pull the medial border of the scapula like this causing depression of the scapula or downward rotation of the scapula or downward tilting of the glenoid cavity and this is done by the help of pectoralis minor and now we finished the back muscles and goodbye to uh, uh, the other videos